All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you haven't already. And if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Most importantly though, welcome to the Viking family. So this is be my personal opinion slash review for the 2023 big blockbuster film called Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. Now here is the plot. A charming thief and a band of unlikely adventurers embark on an epic quest to retrieve a long lost relic. But their charming adventure goes dangerously awry when they run afoul of the wrong people. Now here is the cast. Now I literally don't know a thing about Dungeons and Dragons the game. Going into this even after watching Old School Nerd uh, on Twitch and um, originally on um, YouTube. Um, play it and watch Stranger Things because they have that, this is the theme of the show if you don't know. Uh, I mean I know it's kind of like Lord of the Rings in a way but more advanced and much bigger world. Like a really a vast big world. And there's a dungeon master that tells the puts up the stories and stuff. That's really all I know. I was kind of wondering how they were going to go about the setup to this story. Was it going to be going back and forth between a magic world and then a normal human world sitting at a table? Uh, it was just a magic world and I was more happy about that, to be honest. Than the alternative where it would be going back and forth between these people telling and playing this game where and then they go back into their characters it's this their avatars or whatever you would call them um no it was just the whole it was just the whole story of that and it wasn't going back and forth uh very playful with cheesy but fun comedy but I would say the action and makeup of this world overshadowed shadowed the comedy to a degree. Not a bad thing, although Chris Pine was a tiny bit annoying at times with his comedy for me personally. The Red Wizard added a dark, creepy tone to the form uh, film and something that I wasn't expecting. Definitely some badass scenes in here with pretty cool CGI. Um, honestly, the writing of the story was great, felt very de detailed and full. Uh, here is my rating, I'll come back with my final thoughts. Honestly, I have no real complaints other than M Michelle Rodriguez's acting. For me, everything she is in, she comes off, so lifeless, emotional wise. Uh, great fighter in her scenes of choreography uh, uh, with everything she does when it comes to the action part. It's just when it comes to the the, the emotion, it's just kind of just really soulless to me. And I, I can never really get behind her, uh, her acting anything. Um, well, let me in the comments below what your guys' thought of this film is. Uh, did you like it? Did you hate it? Do you think it's cool? Do you think it would be a great family uh, film? I think it is a good family film. I think it's also just a great kind of fun film for everyone. For people who have not played Dungeons & Dragons, this is definitely a, a way to get into that world. You know, um, I personally am one of those people. Uh, but if you're a Dungeons & Dragons person, I can definitely tell that this is going to be was definitely going to be your type of thing as well so but either way it's a fun film um but remember i love you all please stay safe and uh spread the love and skull